Brussels. When that was kind of thrown around Westminster over the last couple of decades, it was a, a loaded term, it's a joke. very, very it derogatory was... and a bit of a joke. Yeah, always seen as a joke. Just as people in America, Donald Trump ran against Washington, everybody pretty much in Europe runs against Brussels. And going into the Brexit vote, Brussels looked in a really bad way. Its main projects, the single market, was sort of OK, but both the euro and the Schengen area were in trouble. Brexit loomed to be looming. And when Brexit happened, a lot of people forecast this was the beginning of the end. Completely the opposite. What Brexit did was it reunited Brussels. And now you have Macron um, coming in, and you've had the sort of pretty gloomy sight of the British negotiators appearing. Gloomy for Britons, yeah. um, nothing but pleasure for many people in Brussels. The same people who've humiliated them, got all these opt-outs, all these things, have to appear, gesticulate, pontificate, and then inevitably give in because all the rules favour the inside people. I think what strikes us at this point, the amount of investors that come around this table and say buy Europe, the enthusiasm for relative political stability um, compared to a number they, of months they ago. They definitely feel happier. And I think one reason why is you know, it's always fun when your enemies get into trouble. Americans now have to... Americans used to laugh at the when they saw kind of John Claude Juncker, the former president of Luxembourg, it might still do. Standing beside, <laughs> standing beside Barack Obama and Xi Jinping, used to think this is not exactly a, yeah. a merger of equals. Now they have to explain Donald Trump, Trump going to France at the moment. America is no longer the force for free trade. All those things. The British were always horrible to it. Suddenly, those people are doing very badly. The British have not so much. They've shot themselves in the foot as machine gun both legs. But the other huge thing is the arrival of Macron and why that matters so much is because Macron is offering the prospect of reform in France, and that gives Angela Merkel, at least in theory, the possibility of having reform inside the Eurozone, not the European Union, integration in the Eurozone. Yeah. Today, there's a joint cabinet meeting of the French and German cabinets. You know, this is a new lease of life to the Euro project. There is a